I'm Candace Cameron with Colorado Bass Catch Academy. Today I will be teaching you a drill that you can do to increase bat speed and performance without a ball in a very small space. The things that you will need for this drill is a bat weight, weighted gloves, and ankle weights. Now the bat weight that you get can be any particular weight. This is a donut and they do come in more than one size. Obviously the older the child is, the heavier a donut you can get. They also make bat sleeves that have weights in them. Those bat sleeves are actually more comfortable for when you do hit your back when you make contact. Uh, it does help to not hurt nearly as bad as when you have this donut sticking out. The bat weight or the glove weights that I have on are called Draz Athletics glove weights. These are actually specifically made for hitting with. The weight is distributed on every single knuckle throughout the entire hand and on the back of the hand but they can be kind of expensive. So you can also use yoga glove weights or um, the glove weights that they make when you go to work out at the gym. You can also use wrist weights. Your ankle weights can be whatever weight you prefer. I have five pounds on each leg. This bat is already a 23 ounce bat. So when you consider how heavy the bat already is, as well as everything else, it definitely makes a bit of a difference with your swing. The way this drill works is there needs to be someone watching the person swinging their bat. When they swing, they have to try to swing with as much effort as possible. I'm sure you can imagine how hard that is when you consider how heavy they're weighted down with everything. But basically, you want to compare their swing to what their swing looks like when they swing normally without any weights on. It won't be as fast, but you should still expect them to have a pretty fast swing. When they finally give you a good swing, you count it. And once you get five that you can count, five good ones, you let them remove one item. They can remove whichever item they want. Smart decision is to remove the donut. After which they swing again. At that point, now their swing should be even faster because they don't weigh down nearly as much. So don't count it unless the swing is faster than what you did count when it still had the donut on. After five good ones, they get to remove another item of whichever they choose. Again, make sure that the swings you count are faster than what you counted before. With each round, it should get harder and harder to have it count because you expect more. The less weight that you have on, the more speed the bat should go, the faster the swing should be. When you're completely done removing every item, the swing that you should have should be faster than anything you've ever seen the person do before. And if they don't have a swing like that, make them put all the weights back on again and start all over. 